Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us. I appreciate the organizing committee for managing this outstanding meeting. The main bottleneck of supercapacitors is their low energy content. As you know, the first equation shows the energy of supercapacitors. Two important parameters determine the amount of energy, capacitance and voltage. And the second equation shows the relation between capacitance of the device and two electrodes. Both electrodes contribute to the capacitance of the device and bottleneck in this step is the electrode with low capacitance. There has been a lot of progress in the field of positive electrode, but the low capacitance of negative electrode material severely limits the device capacitance. The most efficient negative electrode materials are carbon-based materials that operate based on the EDLC mechanism and their capacitance barely exceeds 300 farad per gram. Considering the point that sodo capacitive materials provide significantly more capacitance than EDLC, development of sodo capacitive negative materials is very important. So what we need to do is to increase the negative electrode capacitance. Let's introduce of our recent, some of our recent works for improving the negative electrode capacitance. First work is grafting an organic redox active species onto carbon-based material. In this study, we utilize the prospect of organic redox active species to fabricate a metal ferry supercapacitor with an excellent performance. The device design provides an effective strategy to fabricate high performance aqueous supercapacitor and facilitate progress toward a sustainable energy future. Here, thionin is non-covalently yet firmly conjugated on RGO to provide pseudo capacitive energy storage. Thionin was conjugated to graphene aerogel via pi pi stacking interaction. Thionin as a redox active dye intercalating between the graphene aerogel nanosheets and tightly stacks on them. The rationally designed thionine graphene supramolecular complex affords exceptional capacitive performance in addition to superior energy storage capability. Such a design mitigates leakage of redox moiety out of the active materials. The thionine graphene aerogel nanocomposite was prepared via a simple hydrothermal method. The as prepared nanocomposite is very lightweight, floated on top of the solution, and a leaf can easily tolerate its weight. This slide shows the wide voltage window of the symmetric device that spans 2.1 volt. The Ragoni plot shows that the fabricated device displays excellent performance in comparison with the other similar devices. The device is also flexible and displays a high mechanical stability. Electrical conductivity of the nanocomposite is also suitable 
for high power energy storage applications. This slide shows cycling stability and practical off-grade application of the prepared device. In another study, we prepared the Nile Blue functionalized graphene aerogel electrode that display excellent supercapacity performance in the negative potential range. Interestingly, in this design architecture, the prepared nanocomposite covers the whole spectrum of pH of aqueous electrolyte. This figure shows the series of the prepared nanocomposite in three different electrolytes, including alkaline, neutral, and acidic electrolytes. This slide shows fabricated three devices performance across the entire pH range. In all these devices, the prepared composite serves as a negative electrode. In another approach, we were inspired by the strong adhesion properties of muscle in which the amine and the catechol moieties are responsible for their adhesion properties. We selected dopamine that contain both the amine and the catechol moieties. This slide shows how we prepare the polydopamine functionalized carbon clause electrode along with applied pulse potential pattern and the redox reactions that likely happen during the PDA film formation. We then fabricated and all solid state symmetric devices in a PVA in sulfuric acid gel electrolyte and evaluated the performance including the operating voltage window and the rate capability which are very promising. We also studied the other characteristic of the device including cycling stability at different rates, flexibility, electrical conductivity, as well as energy power performance in comparison with other devices reported in the literature. This slide shows practical application of a single prototype device in driving a rotor and lighting up a red LED. In another study, we prepared and ordered the mesoporous carbon nitride graphene aerogel nanocomposite, MCNGA, as an all carbon negative electrode materials. Carbon nitride compound, compounds have high stability against aqueous, alkaline, and acidic media, as well as organic solvents. The MCNs have a large pore volume, high surface area, controlled morphology, and uniform pore diameter. We employed SPA-15 as a hard template for preparation of the ordered MCN, then composited with the GA for improving the electrical conductivity via a hydrothermal method. The SEM images clearly shows that the MCN adopts the SPA-15 templates shape. 
BET and BTH analysis show the mesoparous structure of the MCN and its composite. We then fabricate a symmetric device for the prepared composite as well as for MCN device as a control experiment. As shown here, the rate capability and energy storage performance of the composite device is much better than the MCM-based device. Aside from the carbon-based materials, which are the well-known family of the negative electrode active materials with most EDLC-like characteristics, some meta metal oxides also provide capacitance in the negative potential range, green bars. This slide shows the potential window of some metal oxides. On the hunt for negative electrode active material, we also prepared two new bimetal oxide nanocomposites based on, tran on transition metal spinel oxide, which showed great potential to be applied as negative and positive electrode active material for a supercapacitor. For preparation of the nanocomposites, we used a very simple method based on the electrostatic co-precipitation of the negatively charged RGO and the positively charged by metal oxide just by adjusting the suitable pH of the nanocomposite can be easily formed. Comparing these profiles clearly shows the better performance of the bimetal oxide nanocomposite over the activated carbon as a typical negative electrode material. We also used the solar harvested energy for charging the supercapacitors and using the stored energy for lightening up the LEDs. In summary, we have prepared some electrode active material that demonstrates supercapacitive performance in the negative potential range. We approach this target by grafting redox active species on the carbon-based material, compositing redox active materials with graphene aerogels, development of bio-inspired biopolymers with redox activity in the negative potential range, using earth abundant by metal spinel oxide as negative electrode material. We hope that these studies pave the way for development of more efficient negative electrode material that better counterbalance the high performance positive electrode materials. I would like to appreciate my collaborator, co-workers for generous support of this work, Professor Kainer, Dr. Maher, Dr. Rahmanifar, our team, especially Dr. Nuri and Professor John, and also financial supporter. And thank you very much for your kind attention.